Hello, it's Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving, and welcome back to another grocery haul. I am here actually in the car with all four kids, and we are getting ready to head into Walmart and do a little shopping. If you remember from last week or last time I checked in, we were getting ready for a week full of company, and we had a great time. We had over 20 people staying at our house for about eight days. First my family and then a bunch of college friends. It all went wonderfully. Menu plans worked as planned. We did substitute a leftover day on the last day because there was a lot going on. Looks like everyone's crawling. careful crawling in the back seat, please guys. Okay, so um, we are still kind of supplementing we have some more friends coming over this week, just one night, no one's staying the night. Um, so I need to grab a couple things for those menus. I did pick up some things last week, my husband did. We really stocked up on meat, was what we needed to restock for grilling and different things. So I will update you on those totals when I get back home, um, what we spent last week as well as what we're buying this week. All right, looks like everyone in the back has lots of energy. We're gonna go into Walmart, and then we're gonna grab some more meat at Sam and I will show you what I got when we get back home and I update you where we are. Shh. All right, say bye guys, everyone. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're back. Woo, that was a morning. So it was probably my fault for trying to do a little bit of grocery shopping and since we were at Walmart, school just let out for us a couple weeks ago, but every year my kids need gym shoes for um, to keep at school. They have to have a pair of shoes, tennis shoes. We have an old wooden gym floor. So I decided while we were there, let's go ahead and grab some just cheap tennis shoes. That's what I normally do. The Walmart cheap ones that they can wear for a year or two and just leave at school and grab those before they were picked over. So trying to take four kids into Walmart, do some grocery shopping, <laughs> do some little things, do shoe shopping. It was a morning, but we got it done. We're home. Kids ate and they're off to quiet time. So let me show you what I got at Walmart. And this is just obviously the grocery part, not all the shoes and things that we got there. Um, my grocery bill was like half of what my shoe bill was, but we got those things checked off the list. So that was always good. And then again, grabbed a couple things at Sam's. Now stick around to the end because I am gonna show tell you what I bought last week when we had company here and where I am already for the month of June. All right, let's flip around and see what I got today. Let's start with the Walmart haul. So it was a couple things. It really didn't add up too badly there. Needed more milk and eggs. And then we're having friends over um, tonight and family later this week and more friends next week. So these were just a couple things that I needed for recipes. So I grabbed some Cool Whip for a blueberry pie and an apple snicker salad, croutons for an olive garden salad, um, cheese crackers for a snack for the kids, some more instant pudding. My kids love these when we're traveling and over the summer, so these are just kind of always a fun treat. Grabbed those, a couple things of those, and then I lucked out with clearance bread today. Grabbed two loaves of those. I'll go ahead and butter it, and I wrap it in foil, and I freeze it. We're gonna use one tonight for dinner, but then the other, I'll just go ahead and butter and freeze it so it's ready to go in the oven whenever we need that. And then grabbed a green pepper and some celery. So that was actually it from Walmart, grocery-wise. My cart was a lot fuller with all the kids in it and the shoes. But at Walmart, I spent $27.85. And then we ran just over a block or two to Sam's. Again, I was just there yesterday. My husband got a smoker, and um, I had picked up the wrong ribs, apparently, for him. I bought spare ribs, which are now in the freezer. We will cook those another time, but he wanted another thing of these baby back ribs. So I grabbed one thing of that, grabbed some pork chops. The ribs are for later this weekend. The pork chops are for tonight for dinner, so I grabbed three packages of those. Grabbed some lettuce for salads, and then the mini cucumbers. I had these last week when my company was here. Used them as salad and snacking on them. They're really good cucumbers, so this might become my new one of my new things at Sam's. So for the meat and the produce, I looked for Granny Smith apples. They were actually out of them at Sam's. But for these couple things then, I spent $44.34 today at Sam's Club. Okay, groceries are put away. Let's talk where I am budget-wise for the month of June. If you remember before I started, before that we had company come, I was right at 260. I normally use a 475 month budget, but I knew it was gonna go high, so I was going to, I am adding in $100 from our vacation budget, so that would take me up to 575 for this month. 
All right, now, while company was here, my sisters graciously stocked us up on some produce and they covered some of those things during the week. And then in the middle of the week, Andy ran to Sam's again and restocked again on meat and a little bit of milk and there's some more produce. When you have 20 people here, you go through some of those things fast. So on that trip, he spent $148.89. So that was the middle of the week company that was there. And then I just mentioned that I went to Sam's the other day trying to grab some more ribs for my husband to grill, which apparently were the wrong kind, spare ribs. We will eat them, it's fine, they're in the freezer. But he wanted to do the certain baby back ribs for this time, so I had to go back. But on that trip at Sam's, I bought some spare ribs and I bought a rotisserie chicken and I spent $69.66. So if we take where I was at the beginning of the month, we take what we spent during company, the Sam's trip for more meat, and then these recent trips, I am at, for the month of June, it's June 15th, and I have currently spent $552.35. So I'm over my typical budget, but I am under my <laughs> extra budget that I had allotted. Now we still have a good portion of the month left. So how am I going to do? You'll just have to stay tuned. We are having friends over um, and family over, so we're entertaining a lot more this month. And for us, that's just one of those things that's worth it to spend a little bit more. Um, I've kept the budget lower and things will work out and they always do. So that's where I am budget-wise from June. How are you doing at the middle of the month? Do you find that your budget gets higher in the summer too when you have company over or friends and family or you're just, you have kids home and they're snacking more? What, do you keep the same budget in the summer or do you raise it? I'm just curious to know what everyone else does. So, all right, that's my haul for this week. I hope it's helpful as always to see a real life look into our budget. I really try to be fully transparent and show you everything we're buying when I don't have a house full of company. I know I couldn't film those couple trips. It just wasn't gonna happen. But again, thanks so much for watching these videos and for all your comments. I love hearing how what deals you're finding and just appreciate how you are so willing to share your tips and advice here on the channel too. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.